Hi there. So in this video, we are going to take a look at lists in VB.NET. So basically, a list is a strongly typed list of objects that can be accessed by index. So here, the index start from zero and onwards. Okay. So let's take an example and see how it works. So first thing, open Visual Studio and create one VB.NET console application. And you will find solution with module empty such as this now inside main subroutine i want you to type let's say dimension for or dim and here i want to use list of languages that i have created tutorial on this youtube channel so let's say langs as my list as new list and here uh, my list contains string so off string and once I created my list next thing I'm going to create is some items to be added in this list so langs dot add okay I'm going to add total four items that we are going to access so let's say first language I want to use Java then I want to add Ruby okay and then I want to add let's say Python and then let's say VB okay now I want to access these total four entries so for that I'm going to use for each and then let's use a language lang adds string in langs okay and here I'm going to use console write line and call for lang that will iterate through my list okay and here I'm going to use console dot read to hold my output and as you can see we iterated through the list of entries within our list and we got the output on console okay you can also individually access each element if you want for that you just have to call for this particular lang and just number okay so you just want to call for this particular entry let's say ruby then you can call for lang one or two okay so we will go with two so zero one two it should output python so let's check that out okay so as you can see it is outputting the Python similarly you can also remove a particular entry from your list using remove method and here you can specify which particular entry that you want to remove so let's say I want to remove Ruby and then I want to check out this with for each loop let us go for that Okay, now let me execute and as you can see I have removed Ruby and we iterated through the list and we got our output with Ruby removed so this was short introduction to how to create a list in VB.NET how to iterate through it how to add and remove elements in your list